As the world watched Marines sweep the Pacific during World War II, few had the privilege of watching them firsthand. Frank DeAngelis was one of them. At only 17 years old, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy and found himself serving aboard the USS Salem only months later. He was some Marine. It was there that General he witnessed Corps. what it meant to carry the, the title Pacific, United States Two Marine, something he's, he's always admired. See, it's different. They're different. People don't understand, but they have to be involved with them and they'll understand. By the looks of his shadow box, he's come a long way since his days as a young sailor. And I just put everything out here because when people come to visit, they want to see everything, what this guy does. And uh, so his mind wanders at 83 years old. Okay. But his hands are as steady as ever. I just pull the box, take one out, ready to go. Production. Frank's mission is to make a shadow box for every family that has lost a Marine in the global war on terror. It's a lofty goal, but Frank's getting there. Box one. After box. After box. I'm still fussy in my old age. Giving each <laughs> one the attention it deserves. That one over there. This one here is another. Frank can tell you a brothers. story about any of them, but one in particular stands out in his mind. Because when I saw her picture, uh, I thought, God, it's so young. It's not fair, in a way, uh, but I never forgot that call, yeah. That call came from Pam Simon. Her daughter Jennifer was killed in Iraq. I'll cherish it, and you know, and I, I just, I just admire him for, and, and he, for his dedication. The words cannot express the gratitude that I felt when I received the shadow box in honor of my daughter, Corporal Jennifer Parcell, U.S. Marine Corps. And I miss her, and I'm proud of her, I'm very proud of her. I mean, it was a, a dreadful task for me, but I can handle it. It didn't stop me from continuing to make shadow boxes. In fact, he's made so many, some 300 by his count, that the Marine Corps took notice, granting him the very title he's respected throughout his many years. I had no dreams or knowledge there were honorary Marines. I never heard of it. All the years with Marines, I never heard it come up. But on this day, he lived it, becoming only the 59th person in the history of the Corps to earn the title Honorary Marine. I think that is, is like the, oh, the top. I can't go any higher. I've reached the top. So, like any other Marine, Frank moves forward. Oh, here's the article. I don't have my glasses. Humble about his achievements. There's General Puller. Conscious of his efficiency. I'll never get them all done. And unwavering in his dedication to duty. But I will get a big part done. I'm, uh, I'm fortunate that I'm able to do what I do. And uh, I'll continue until I no longer am here. Big Marine, that's pretty damn good. And From Lincroft, New Jersey, nobody. I'm Lance Corporal A.J. Luger. You know, was among them. I like that. I thought that was great.